Hello guys and girls, welcome back to the Racing Line for another circuit guide here on iRacing. This is week 10 of Season 1 2023 in the D-Class Fix GR86 Cup. Once again with me driving the Toyota GR86 Cup car. This week's circuit is Alton Park Circuit, the international layout and the date and time is set to the 1st of May 2023 at 1.45 in the afternoon to match the official race time sent out on the Season 1 PDF. Same format as before, breakdown lap followed by a full speed uninterrupted lap followed by an offboard lap where we'll talk about overtaking opportunities and as usual this is filmed before the week has begun so it's difficult to compare lap times but let's see if we can help you guys find some time around this quite long and tricky little circuit that is filled with 1x's that are bound to catch you out. So here we are on the main straight which is pretty much a curve, we want to be on the left hand side for the quite fast right hander of turn one. Braking zone is this banner on the left, but more specifically where the red turns to yellow, that's where we're gonna brake. We're gonna get hard on those brakes in a straight line, down to third, coast in, and then start accelerating as early as you can, being careful not to cross the white line with your right wheels, because uh, you will get a 1X there. It's very easy to 1X that. As you come downhill, get over to the right-hand side. Your next braking zone is going to be that green square on the right-hand side. You're just going to tap the brakes again. We're going to get on those brakes about half pressure, down to third. Hold it tight to this left-hand side all the way around. Again, accelerating as early as you can, being careful not to go too far on the exit because there's a tight 1x there as well. It's a little bit stingy. Next corner is just a lift as this road on the right ends. You can see there, fully lifted off to get the nose in and then straight back on the power. Want to be on the left-hand side is our main aim here as we head towards this hairpin and we break at the tyre wall on the left. As we pass that, hard on the brakes from fourth down to second. Hold it tight all the way around. The tighter you can hold this, the quicker you can go as the corner is cambered in nicely. So you can accelerate out in second gear, down this curved straight with our main aim to be on the right-hand side. Now, this is a tricky braking zone to spot. The road gets a little dirty up ahead, and we're going to brake in a straight line from third down to second. We'll slow it down. Brake in, hit that apex on the left down to second, coast through the second apex, and then get straight on that throttle. At full speed, it's really hard to brake down, but there you go. That's <laughs> done the best I can. It's really important to brake in a straight line down to second, coast in, and accelerate out. Same, similar story here actually. Braking zone is between the 100 and the 50 meter board. Going to break at the 75 meter mark from fourth down to second. Hard on those brakes in a straight line. Coast into this first apex, stab the throttle. Quick lift off then as you turn in towards the second apex. Get back on the throttle again with your main aim to be on this left hand side as you open up this right hander. We're then going to lift off slightly just to get the nose in and then keep that throttle planted again on the exit straight up into third. Be careful not to run too wide there. If you touch the grass on the left, it may drag you out and spit you into the wall. Now, as we climb up this hill, we want to be on the left-hand side on the exit as we approach this double right-hander. Braking zone, the right-hand side green square, but our car is on the left-hand side of the circuit. We're going to dab those brakes, get down to third gear, hit the first apex, and start accelerating through all the way through the rest of the corner in third gear, up into fourth on the exit. One final braking zone to worry about, left-hand side, tricky one because it's after this arrow board I'd say about one to two car lengths after the arrow board on the left hard on the brakes from fourth down to second get it turned in smooth on the power here because it's easy to lose the rear you can see us fighting the wheel on the exit as the track goes down and then back up and then you've exited the final corner and you know you've completed your lap here at Alton Park for a 150.3 let's go over that again full speed uninterrupted going over what we just went over so we want to be on the left hand side be looking for the red and yellow sign we're going to dab those brakes quite hard 50 percent pressure down to third get it coasted in start accelerating through keep that car on the track very easy to get a 1x now as we come down this hill we start off on the left we're going to turn into this right hander keep it on the right now green square hard on the brakes down to third hold it tight start accelerating straight away not fully but start accelerating straight away smooth on that power now, right-hand side, we're looking for the road on the right. We're going to lift off in fourth gear to get the nose in as the road ends. Now, lift off, get it turned in, straight back on that power. Get to the left-hand side as the tire ball ends. Hard on the brakes, down to second gear. Hold it tight to the right-hand side, accelerating, feathering that throttle through that cambered corner, using all the track on the exit, careful of the grass. As we go up through the gears, you're going to reach third gear. You're going to reach the top of third gear as you brake. Hard on the brakes, down to second, hit that first apex, coast through and then start accelerating straight away, being careful not to touch either of those uh, indestructible tyre walls there as that will ruin your race. There's going to be a lot of crashes there for sure. Now, left-hand side, 75 metre mark. Now, down to second, get it turned in, start accelerating out, lift off, start accelerating again, get over to the left-hand side. We're going to lift off slightly just to get the nose in and then plant the power down when we feel comfortable. Watch the rear end again. You can see us fighting the wheel there as we nearly lost the rear. Up the hill we go, climbing up those gears. Want to be on the left-hand side after this kink here. 
And then green square on the right, hard on the brakes, down to third, get it turned in, start powering through in third gear all the way through that corner, up up to fourth on the exit. Now we're just looking for the arrow board on the left hand side, we're going to break just past that, hard on the brakes, fourth, down to second, into the corner, start accelerating smoothly, and then when you feel comfortable, straight back on that power and up the hill you go, up to third, up into fourth, I just hold it to the left to minimise the run to the line, and across the line for a 150.3. Hopefully that has helped you. As usual, that's pretty much it from me. So let's go through overtaking opportunities before I let you go. Turn one, high risk. Shallow braking zone, fast right-hander. Very rarely done to get a pass there unless you go around the outside and use the off-track. Again, similar down here, to be honest. It's a narrow circuit. You don't really want to be sending it here as that car might turn in. And the same if you're around the outside, they might run you off. So I'd say high risk for turn two. If you can get a much better exit, you might find yourself side by side here. If you're on the inside a long way, then maybe you can get this move done. But again, high risk into this left-hander. Now, into this hairpin is medium risk. If you're on the inside, you can get it done. But if you're on the outside, you could also continue this battle as long as they give you room on the exit of this corner in towards the chicane. The chicane, though, high risk. Because if your battle is still going on now, one of you needs to back out if you want to survive this. Single file through here. Uh, very rarely we're going to see overtakes through here. But you could get a really good exit. And I think this is your main overtaking opportunity now. If you can get a better exit than the car in front, this straight here into the slipstream, hard on the brakes into this next chicane. Uh, and they'll have to back out or they'll go off. If you're around the outside there, you definitely will be going off. No overtaking through this bit. No overtaking through this bit, really. High risk, high risk, high risk. Um, so that, that chicane into the braking zone of that chicane, really. Up here, we will see racing. We will see, pe see people fight. I'm going to say medium risk because it can be done. Um, it just depends on the situation. But to be honest, you need to be far enough alongside on the exit of the chicane. Here's your other main overtaking opportunity, I'd say. Uh, so that chicane and the final turn. Because you can get nice and hard on the brakes. You can get the inside line. And then continue your fight up the main straight down towards turn one. So low risk there for the final turn. Low risk for that second chicane. Everywhere else, medium to high. As usual, that's pretty much it from me. If I don't see you on track this week, I'll see you next week for the next video here on The Racing Line. Peace.